looky there. Beautiful. That is green gold. <laughs> if you ask me. Okay, got to walk heating up over medium high heat. And I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of oil in. If you had coconut oil, you could use that. I saw that today at Walmart, it was kind of expensive. Yeah, pass. Really? Have you ever used it? Yeah, but Come out to a nice consistency. You could spread it on bread and eat it just like that. <laughs> probably, probably not, but I guess you could. Well, yeah, you could. Okay, That's my favorite. Spoon, and we'll just get this. Oh, not yet. <laughs> it's good to let the oil heat up a little bit. this Nico gets to lick the bowl later. <laughs> it's like frosting. Done enough with the night. So let's fry this up for a second. I personally think it's good to let this actually cook a little bit. Well it's gonna cook for a little bit, but you know. Few minutes, anyways, before you put the coconut milk in. And we've also got the rice. Started I tell you, rice cookers are just the best things. <laughs> Another thing I was skeptical of until I actually used one. Yeah, now I can't look that and now, it's just a, just a fantastic little item to have in your kitchen. It makes life so much easier when it comes to cooking rice. So I don't like instant rice, because that's just, life's too short for instant rice, if you ask me. I learned that from Jeff Smith, and I'll... Yeah, this um, is so rice. fresh and hot. I mean, it's hot and fresh, and just... There's a lot of goodness in there. Yeah, there's, on so many levels, it's good. The original recipe that, um, that I got this from, or even that I'm working off of here, had it using chicken, which... After you put the um, coconut milk in and let it cook for a second, you would put the chicken in and let it simmer for, you know, 45 minutes or whatever. We're using shrimp because I have a lot of shrimp. And then we're going to let the sauce cook and then put the shrimp in for the end. Okay. So I've got a can of coconut milk. I've got another one in the wings here, too. Make sure it's coconut milk, not the sweetened yeah. stuff. For... <laughs> yeah, last night when we made this, we were about ready to dip our heads in it at this point. Yeah, just needed a straw. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so damn good. I'm just going to put about half of that in right now. We're kind of going overboard on the sauce, but. It was so good. But yeah, like so we're making a double recipe, so. I still think you could poach eggs in this stuff and be alright. Anyways, so. That would be good. <coughs> you gonna... need to let this be, you know, what, 20, 30 minutes? Just to get really happy. Just let it cook With each other. I mean, it's, you know. Food at home is not meant to be. Actually, this doesn't is, have to take it, you know, forever to make, but you you want to let those flavors develop. And actually, on the little recipe, it says let it cook for about forty-five minutes. So we'll give it a thirty and come yeah. back and see where we're at. Y'all have fun. All right, we forgot something. We're like, why is it not tasting the same? You need to put a little bit of sugar in here. I put a little bit more than that. Um. Balance out. I know it sounds odd, but the sugar really brings a, out a lot of the flavor. And it balances some of the. And just balance some of the bitter out. Because I had a question about using sugar last night, and you know we didn't use it, or we didn't put it in, and we tasted it, and it was like, well, so we put it in, and it was like, oh, that made such a huge difference. So yeah, so don't forget. Just a little smidge, you know, 
tablespoon, half a tablespoon of sugar. Yeah. For the so. double, well, for what, like one recipe, it'd be one tablespoon or one teaspoon. All right. So, we let this cook down. All right, boys and girls, this has been cooking for about half hour. About half an hour. It is good. It is really good. You know, again, if you're going to make this with chicken, you know, you'd have put the chicken in from the onset. But, um, oh my god, this is so good. What we've got here is about a pound of shrimp. And what we're going to do is just get these bad boys in here. And again, this is a lot of sauce, but we're doing it this way because the sauce is just that good. That good. So we'll let this cook for about five minutes or so until the shrimp are all done, and we'll be back when it's time to serve. Yes, we will. The shrimpy is done. Okay. I've got ideally I'd have you know a couple cups of basil sliced up, but um, the pickings were slim at the store, and my basil froze. So we'll toss that. And at the end, um, I end up using all my cilantro um, for the sauce, but if you had some extra fresh cilantro, um, you could toss it in. Now again, this is real soupy. We could have had about three times as much meat, but the sauce is just yeah. unbelievable. But to serve it, we will just scoop out the goodness over some of the fresh um, jasmine rice. So good. Yeah. And then we will serve it with just a little squeeze of lime on the side. And dinner's ready. There you go. I'm gonna go eat. So give this one a try. It's very simple. It's good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, I know. Have fun out there. Enjoy. Oh yeah, this is the exciting part of the show. Tina, in her pre-Js, not PJs, but pre-Js, yeah. <clears throat> almost a PJ. <laughs> Put that quite white. <laughs> Cutting up green onions for, our yumminess. for the good, extra special green curry. That we will be feasting on this evening. It's not often we make something two days in a row. Much love. We never have made anything two days in a row. I don't believe we ever have, actually. But this was so good. I said we must do it again. Yeah, I was talking about it on our breakfast video today. And it was just like, well. It was so good, we were mad that we didn't make a video of it. So we just had to do it again. And I don't care who you are. There's just nothing wrong with Thai food. I don't care how many times you have it. Yeah, this is good. It's all healthy. I mean, it really is stunning how good of a, you know, from a healthy food standpoint, how good this is for you. 